Hello boys and girls. This week for your flipped video, we are going to be studying symmetry and different types of transformations. So we're going to start off with symmetry. And a line of symmetry divides a figure into two congruent halves that are a mirror image of each other. And congruent means exactly alike, so they're the same. Congruent figures are always the same size and the same shape. Today we're going to look at some items that have symmetry. Let's look at these first four items and find their line of symmetry. In our first picture right here, we have a house. Now, not all houses have a line of symmetry, but this house does. I can draw a line right down the middle of this picture, and both sides are congruent. They are the same. So this house has a vertical line of symmetry. Let's look at this McDonald's sign. If I draw a line right down the middle, a middle of that, it is a line of symmetry because the left and the right are congruent. Let's look at the tiger. If I draw a line right here going across, does that show the top and the bottom being congruent? And the answer is no, that is not a line of symmetry. But if I draw one going from top to bottom, a vertical line, the left and the right are congruent. So that is a line of symmetry. And then last we have a piece of furniture. And if I draw a line vertically on this piece of furniture, the left and the right are congruent. So that is also a line of symmetry. Now we're going to move on to some different items and see if they have a horizontal line of symmetry because all the ones I've shown you so far have a vertical line of symmetry. Okay, let's look at our first one. We have a triangle. How many lines of symmetry do you think the triangle has? Okay, I see if I draw a line right down the middle, vertically, the left and the right are congruent. Okay, but what if I draw a line from this vertex to the bottom? Now, are those two sides congruent? Yes. What if I draw a line from this vertice, this vertex, excuse me, across? Again, we have a line of symmetry. So this triangle has how many lines of symmetry? That's right, three lines of symmetry. Now let's look at this heart. If I draw a horizontal line, is the top and bottom, are the top and bottom congruent? No. Let's try a vertical line of symmetry. Are the left and the right congruent? Yes. So the heart has one line of symmetry. Let's look at this smiley face. If I draw a horizontal line, is, are the top and bottom congruent? And the answer is no, because of the shape. The smile is at the bottom, not at the top, okay? And then the two eyes would not be at the bottom. Do you know another way I can draw that line? Vertically. There we go. Draw one right down the middle of that smiley face. I wonder if your face has a line of symmetry. Okay, next let's move to this design, this pattern. Does it have a vertical line of symmetry? Are the left and the right congruent? Yes. What if I draw a horizontal line? Are the top and the bottom congruent? Yes, they are. So, so far we have two lines of symmetry on that rectangular design. What happens on a rectangle if I go from corner to corner? Is that a line of symmetry on a rectangle? And the answer is no, it is not because the way they fold over on that line, they will not be congruent. So a rectangle only has a horizontal line and a vertical line. So two lines of symmetry for that design. Now the square is different than the rectangle. I see a vertical line, a horizontal line, but what if I go diagonal on a square? Is that a line of symmetry? And the answer is yes. So a square has a vertical, horizontal, and two diagonals, four lines of symmetry. 
Okay, so let's look at this circle. It doesn't have the eyes and the mouth like the smiley face, so I wonder if it's going to be different. Let's look. Are the left and the right congruent? Awesome, they are. Let's look at the top and the bottom. Are they congruent? Yes. What if I wanted to go diagonal across the circle? Is this part congruent with this part? Absolutely. So this, the answer to how many lines of symmetry does this circle have? The answer is an infinite number. Okay, because circles have an infinite number of lines of symmetry. We can't count them all because they can just keep going and going and going all the way around across the circle. Okay, now we're going to move on to our second topic, transformations. Okay, so transformations are objects in space that can be transformed into an infinite number of ways. And those transformations can be described and analyzed mathematically. We're going to talk about three different transformations today. We're going to talk about translations, rotations, and reflections. Okay, the first one I'm going to start out with is what is a translation? Translation is a slide. So I can take this cat and, oops, sorry about that. I can take this cat and I can just slide it. I can slide it to the side. I can slide it down. I can slide it diagonal, but it is a slide. It's just moving, sliding. It's not changing direction. So this is a translation. And one thing that helps me with this translation is the SL right here. SL in translation and SL in slide. So translation, slide, translation, slide, translation, slide. Okay, now we're going to look at what a reflection is. A reflection is a flip of a figure that gives its mirror image, okay? And you can see that there, if there was a line right here, that these snakes were just flipped across that line. And, yes, there's a clue, FL in reflection and FL in flip. So a reflection is a flip, okay? Reflection, flip, reflection, flip, reflection, flip, flip. Okay, our third transformation. First, we've had... Translation, then we had reflection, and now our final one is rotation. Rotation is when you turn or move a figure around a point. And you can see that this object was upright, and I just turned it, I rotated it. Okay, rotate. Spin, think about the earth. The earth rotates, that means it spins around. This object just turned on a fixed point, okay, rotate. And there is a little clue in rotate. I look at the O going around, going around, O around, turning around. So let's review our three transformations. We have translation, which is a slide, SL, translation slide, reflection, FL, and FL and flip, reflection, flip, reflection, flip. And then rotation, I look at that O to make a turn. Rotation, turn, rotation, turn. Okay, boys and girls, we are going to be talking more about symmetry and transformations in class next week. So let's complete that recording sheet and have a great day. Happy flipping!